Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. Consider hitting that like and subscribe button down below. To all my returning favorites, welcome back. So today I am in the Yankee Candle Village here in South Deerfield for the Halloween launch here. And I uh, am going to try to record some stuff. I might piece some, piece, might piece some stuff together, but as you can see behind me, I'm in front of the Yankee Candle Making Museum. Uh, there's a lot of cool things that they do in there, including they make their own Bayberry candles. So I have some photos of all of that. Uh, so I'm going to try and get some video footage and we'll piece in some maybe voice overlays and whatnot. So um, we'll see how this goes. So uh, stay tuned. So here at the Yankee Candle Village, they actually dip their own Bayberry tapers with real Bayberry. So not the Bayberry candles that you get at a Yankee Candle retail store. Um, these are actually pure Bayberry that they use. And here's some the bayberries themselves and there's some of the bayberry wax that's made there and here we have the tapers and here is a jar full of the different chips of bayberry there and they also do some beeswax candles and this is where they actually dip all of this stuff they do demonstrations throughout the day so here are all of the previous balsam and cedars that the village had they basically took the labels off because they were the village exclusive ones and they can't sell old models anymore if you're looking for candy corn, Yankee Candle Village in Deerfield has Halloween treat, which is essentially a candy corn. It's from 2015. They are $16 here in the sale center. So if uh, you are near the village and want some candy corn, come on. So also in the sale center were um, New England maples in the full size jars. Now, um, Shane, the candle enthusiast, he had told me the day before that he found these there. Um, and according to him, he hasn't seen these in a couple years, these full-size labels. So they must have been hiding in the back somewhere and they pulled them out for the Halloween event. I'm not sure. But they do have yellow labels on the bottom, which typically indicates a second quality pour, um, an outlet jar. However, underneath of all those yellow labels, there were white labels. Um, and because I believe they still use the, the same barcode for the new ones, for the because they they pour New England maple still, but it's in a keyhole jar, uh, keyhole label there. They just use it to distinguish it there. So um, the Sugar Shack label that you see there on the left is probably their most famous and most popular label available in this scent. Um, then to the right of that you have the syrup jars, which are actually uh, maple leaves, and then you'll see a, uh, a label that has like the the butter, the, the maple butter, maple cookie on it there as well. Now they were $19 and I picked one up uh, for the nostalgia. And, and also because the label actually says Deerfield exclusive on it, where the ones you can buy now, they just say village exclusive. So you can buy them at the village in Deerfield, also in uh, Virginia, but you can also buy them online. So uh, I kind of like that having that little uh, Deerfield uh, feel to it there. Um, Wait for nineteen dollars. It's gonna sit on my sit on my shelf. That's that's all it's gonna do. Okay, so across the hall from the sales center is the Bavarian Village, and uh, there's lots of Christmas stuff going on here. It's Christmas year round. It snows. You're gonna see some of that video footage here uh, in a minute there with my actual uh, audio narration from uh, inside the Bavarian Village there. So um, here's a couple trees, decorations, the balsam cedars. Um, you know, ornaments galore all over the tree. So let's see. So here we have we have the snowflake factory there. A um, whole bunch of different nutcrackers and uh, different ornaments, decorations throughout the whole thing. Uh, this is where it actually snows from, right up here. And I'm gonna hang out for another two, three minutes here and see what happens with the snow. So here we have the Department 56 Christmas Vacation Village, right? My favorite movie, uh, possibly of all time, definitely favorite Christmas movie here, but um, these are available all over the country. Here we have the Department 56 Halloween collection there, uh, very similar to the Spooky Villages, uh, or the Spooky Town from Limax that Doug over at Spooky Villages collects. Here is uh, a new piece this year, really popular, called the Apple Barn. And you can hear we have all kinds of different animals and whatnot sounds in the background. And here's another cool piece that's not working right now, but the Wicked Wax Works actually has 
different colored light bulbs inside of the wicks that flicker and change color. Uh, okay, so now we're in the main event, right? This is this is why why I'm here. This is their Halloween room. This is the new Halloween for the Halloween launch party. Let's take a minute here and let's look at the detail. I have some detail shots coming up here of this horse on this haunted hayride there. The detail they put in to this thing, all handcrafted, uh, I believe, by the way. Look at that. Uh, all different kinds of different textures going on there. Uh, some sparkle where it's needed. Uh, the wood was all um, put together. You know, they, they did not buy this from somewhere. They, they clearly put that uh, together there. We have the Haunted Highway sign. Um, so here, here's Haunted Hayride. The new fragrance, uh, one of the two new fragrances that came out. So um, we have more of the Haunted Hayride stuff there. They were really pushing uh, Haunted Hayride, I think more so than Trick or Treat, um, as the centerpiece was the Haunted Hayride there. So here is the Halloween Friends collection. Uh, everyone was going crazy over the Illumilid, uh, the tree, and those, those votive holders there. Um, there's uh, Frankenstein there, little Frankie. Oh, the, this hand holder is great. It's actually pretty secure. Uh, Bony Bunch. So here's the circus. It was the freak show theme or the freaky circus theme there. Um, I did pick up a few pieces, uh, as you saw in my haul video there. Here's a couple of non Yankee Candle products. Um, so they mix it all in. There's a trick or treat jar down there. Um, here's the Bony Bunch display, which just. Uh, really themed well as you can see is the carnival spooktacular they had all all the bonies except for the online only ones which was kind of surprising um there's your ten dollar purchase the tall stilt one i got that i did like that I had to go through a few different ones to find the, a good paint job there witch's brew we're going to see more of that here in a second um, apparently witch's brew was uh, in store only for a while it did pop up online but again, it's only in the, the large house warmer jar at this point. Who knows if it's going to make an appearance in any other format there. Um, but the bonies were selling well. Um, but really, they were, they were pushing the Haunted Hayride for sure. Uh, $15 jars, you can't go wrong there. Ah, I got the ticket taker, the Freak Show. It lights up. It's got four uh, yellow lights on it there. Kind of so thanks for watching this little video there. Uh, it's my first time doing anything like this. So... Certainly was out of my comfort zone doing the whole filming thing in public, so uh, much respect to Shane over there for, for doing this on a regular basis there. So um, thanks for hanging out, you know, and um, uh, checking out my video here on Yankee Candle Village. It was my first time. Uh, I will certainly be going back, and I'm not sure if I'll be back there before Christmas. I sure do hope so. Um, but if not, I will definitely be doing this uh, every Halloween from here on out. And maybe some annual sale after the holidays there. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all real soon with other awesome content. Have a good one.